Sorry, my battery is really low and I just started filming. Cross your fingers for me. Hello, my name is Jessica of the blog Miss More Style. If you are new here, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if you are into those topics, then you definitely want to hit that red subscribe button and ding the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload about two to three times a week, sharing fun, affordable haul, styling tips, vlogs, all kinds of fun stuff. So please hit that red subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber. Hello and welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. I didn't know I was going to be filming a video today, but my curator box of style for spring 2021 arrived. So I figured I would do a quick unboxing for you guys. If you are unfamiliar with the curator box, it is what is now known, well, it was formerly the Rachel Zoe box of style. Rachel Zoe is still at the helm of it. They just did a sort of like revamp last fall and now it is the curator box. Basically, this is my favorite subscription box and I'll tell you why. You get five items per quarter. It's a quarterly subscription box and it is a fashion and lifestyle and beauty subscription box. So typically you get like one or two fashion related items in here, be it accessories, clothing, um, and then you get some beauty items and um, it's just always like a really good mix of fashion and beauty. And I really appreciate that because some of the other subscription boxes that are only beauty or only like beauty and lifestyle, they just don't fill my love for fashion like this one does. It is $99 a box, I believe. And I think it's a little bit cheaper if you like just pay for the year. Um, but I do have some promo codes and specials down in the description box if you want to check that out. If you've never tried this before, you can get some money off your first box. Now I will say yes, $100 a quarter, it is pricey, but you will see that the value of the items that you get is so incredible that it's completely worth it. And I will total up the total value of my box at the end so you can see that. Um, but let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna open it up. It says, curator, welcome to a life well curated. One thing I absolutely love about this is every single time they send you a whole freaking like magazine is what this basically is talking to you about all the products that you're receiving and like different ways to style it, how to use them. This is amazing. It's, it's beautifully done. Unlike Ipsy, where you get nothing, no information whatsoever. The shame, the shame of it all. Yeah, I said it. Um, there's Miss Rachel Zoe herself looking fabulous. All right, I'm going to put that to the side for now. Go ahead and open this up. <laughs> okay. The first thing that I am pulling out is Ilama Squa. I really don't know how to pronounce this brand at all, but this is their Beyond Powder Highlighter. And let's just open this baby up. This retails at $45. You can use a highlighter brush to swipe over the high points of your face, like cheek and brow bones for a lit from within glow. Dust across collarbone and shoulders to create subtle illumination. Dampen an eyeliner brush to create a modern metallic line across your lids. That sounds really cool. Right off the bat, the packaging of this is so gorgeous. Look at that. I'm gonna open it up. Nice mirror in there. Can you see that iridescence? Let's swatch this really quick. Oh my God, it's really, really pretty. That is a stunning highlighter color. I love the iridescence in it. I definitely wanna try the eyeliner suggestion because that sounds really really awesome so pretty it has like a really nice pinky like undertone to it the next item seems like jewelry yes it's jewelry so this is from the brand vita fed or vita fede i mean i feel like a lot of the brands in this month's box are not pronounceable maybe it's just me but these earrings are so stunning okay let me get them all ready to show you like wow that's so freaking cool. Very, very unique. Definitely different from anything that I have in my earring collection. These earrings value $388. I'm going to pop them on because why not? I don't have any earrings on today. Oh my God. They're actually pretty lightweight. Like they're not as heavy on as I thought they were going to be. Bring a modern aesthetic with an old world attention to detail. Each item is made by artisans from around the world. Founder Cynthia Saki's mission to create is to create beautiful pieces with a meaningful story, thus connecting people in a genuine and unexpected way. Direct from the artist's workbench to the client's closet, each of these modular styles are intended to be as useful as they are transformative. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. You see another baggie in here from the same brand, so it means more jewelry. And I'm seeing here in my little uh, magazine that the choice item this month was either a ring from the same brand that's valued at $250, or it's the Teresa Foglia times curator Lynn hat. And I I'm going to say right now, I'm a little bit bitter because I would have preferred 
to have the hat. I mean, look at how fabulous that hat is. I live for a hat. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to choose that. Slight disclaimer that I forgot to mention in the beginning. I do get sent the curator box in PR, so I don't get to like choose before my box comes the item that I want to have, which really is disappointing. So I got the ring instead. This is valued at $250 and it's one of these like rings that's like all intertwined with each other. Let's see if this fits because I have a ring like this and some days I can get it on and some days I cannot. I feel like my fingers fluctuate so much from day to day and yeah, it's not even going down <laughs> my finger at all. But that's what it's supposed to look like. And that's just really disappointing because if you're gonna send a ring like this, you have to like ask people what their ring size is because not all of us have tiny fingers. So I can't even wear this. And I really, really want that hat. Oh my God, it's so cute. Anyway, these might be a nice gift to someone else because I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear this. Just like the hole of like where your finger would go is so tiny and my fingers are just not tiny. So say la vie, I guess. Moving on, the next item I'm pulling out in here is, what is it? Is it even in here? Oh, this is Hue and Grace Renewing Night Serum. It doesn't say how much this retails for, so hmm. Here it is. This is very nice, like eco-friendly type of packaging with this glass bottle. Nothing fancy, but it has rose hip oil, cherry kernel oil, grapeseed oil, raspberry seed oil, milk thistle oil, prickly pear seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, passion fruit oil, pumpkin seed oil, vitamin E, blue tansy oil, and custom essential oil blend. One of the quotes that they have right here is that they they basically wanted to create a skincare line that didn't have a bunch of chemicals in it. As you guys know, a lot of beauty products have like crazy chemicals in it that uh, aren't good for you. And so the back of the bottle actually says that this is hormone safe product. And it says we handpick safe ingredients to inspire a healthy balanced lifestyle for you and all of your loved ones. I will definitely have to put this away because I'm using a different night serum right now. So when I run out of that, I'll have to give this a try. Last but not least, oh, it is a bag. I'm gonna scoot back for this one. This is from the brand Jules K, which um, is a brand that has been in the Rachel Zoe box of styles in the past before. They're a great brand. They make really fun like vegan leather handbags. And I've owned a couple of them because they have sent me some in the past. Love their stuff. So I'm so happy to get one of these. Here's the bag. And then it comes with the little strap, crossbody strap. Ooh. And I love this like braided detail. That is just so luxe. I love like a cool, like crossbody strap. I feel like Dior has really made crossbody uh, bags like super cool again, especially with like um, emphasis on the actual strap that goes across your body being something interesting and different. And this definitely gives me that vibe. I just think that just that detail is gonna make this bag just so much more elevated. But that is super, super fun. And actually for being vegan leather, it feels really buttery and really soft. It almost feels like a lamb leather to me, just like how smooth and how soft it is. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Uh, that is super, super cute. I think this is gonna be a great bag for just like running around and doing errands. I really love it. It's a $95 bag. So let's calculate the total value of the spring curator box before my battery dies would be nice. Pressure's on. So because they didn't put the price of the serum, I totaled up the other four things and that value is $778. If you would have gotten the hat, it would have been higher by I think about 150 bucks. And then also include like including the price of the serum, which I'm not really sure. So just $778 is so, so good for only having paid $100 for the box. And the things that you get are obviously amazing. It's such a great way to discover some like new brands that you might not have known about, some really beautiful pieces. I mean, some of my favorite like jewelry and accessories that I have, I got through Rachel Zoe Box of Styles and the Curator Box. So I cannot recommend this subscription box enough. It continues to just wow me every single time. I am a little bit bitter that I didn't get the hat, but that's really like just the circumstance because I did receive this for free and I didn't get to let them know that I wanted the hat and not the ring. I'm gonna try not to be too upset about it and not dwell on it too, too much. Let me know down below if you've ever tried the curator box. Did you get the hat? Did you get the ring? Um, what do you think about this quarter's box? And if you have never gotten this box before, I would love to know what your favorite subscription box is and what you think are the best ones out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below and say hi. And while you're here, you might want to check out a couple other videos of mine. These are super fun. I know you're gonna love them. Stick around, watch a couple more videos, get this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.